never a bad day to have good hair. Hello, welcome to my fancy new video. I'm going to roll my hair in a wet set for you today. So before I begin, I need to make sure I have a certain list of things that are available. I need rollers. Today I'm using these mesh rollers. These are about an inch in diameter. They're not, they're pretty firm, which means that they aren't good for sleeping, but they do give you a nice shaped curl. I need roller picks. So you go stick those through the roller and they hold it in place. I also need somewhere to keep all my rollers handy so I can find them as I'm trying to do my hair. <laughs> Clips are handy. These help you make sections and keep hair where you want it. Making working easier. All right. Teasing comb. You'll need a teasing comb. So there's this metal pick on the end of this pretty standard comb. This helps with making sections in your hair. These also come all plastic. I don't really have a preference. I like both of those kinds, but I do like to keep a couple nearby in case I lose track of them while I'm working. <laughs> all right. You're gonna need setting lotion, which is what makes the curls stay in place. I still don't have a favorite. I've been sort of experimenting, but I do use a concentrated one that I dilute four parts water to setting lotion. So I like this one. This is the Lotta Body Plus Keratin. And I also like the original Lotta Body. Now, I know these are probably regarded as inexpensive, but they work for me. I like them. So then I have this little spray bottle that I mix it up in with water, and then I spray it on the curls. Okay. Let's get started. So my hair is clean and dry. I washed it last night and they didn't use any extra weird products in it and then I slept on it. So it looks crazy right now, but this is going to serve as a testament to the magic of wet set styling. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna start sectioning the hair. So I section the crown at each temple and sort of pin it out of the way so I can start working because I like to start on the sides. So then I make a section on the side from just the temple to behind my ear. So now I have this nice section to begin making sections in. Make sure your setting spray is handy, of course, because you're going to need it each time you make a section. So I fiddle around a bit here. I think I was awkward in front of the camera, but I'm gonna make my first section here near the temple. So near that part at the top. And you're gonna to wanna to get a section that is as wide as your rollers-ish and not too thick because the thicker your sections are, the longer they will take to dry. And then you're gonna spray it with setting spray or setting lotion that you've mixed up all the way down to the ends and you wanna make sure that you're gonna comb it through so it's sort of evenly distributed in your section. And then you can start winding it around the roller. So I start near the end and sort of wrap around the very end and make sure to tuck the ends underneath the rest of the hair. Otherwise you get these sort of wonky looking ends on your curls. And so then you roll it all up towards the scalp. And notice I'm rolling these down. And then you're gonna secure it with a roller pick. So then I'm gonna do the rest of the curls in this section, just like I did the first one. Um, I usually end up with three or four curls on each side of my head. Ta-da! So there they go. And so now we can sort of shift gears and go over to the other side. I'm also gonna roll the other side down. So I'm gonna make sure the back is out of the way so it's not in my way as I'm working. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side of my head. I'm gonna roll the curls down towards the bottom, spraying them, tucking the ends under and securing them with pins, picks. And we end up with three curls on this side too, for now. <laughs> I found that I sectioned the top poorly later and I have to sneaky out a fourth curl. And sometimes your picks get loose, so you can just 
readjust. And you can either pick put the pick in so that it rests against your head, or you can actually stick it through the next, the adjacent curl or two. And that um, sort of helps keep things in place. So now I'm gonna do the top. I'm gonna make my, notice that I did roll the sides down and I'm gonna roll the top back. And in fact, all the way over my whole head, I'm gonna continue towards the back, which will turn into down at the back of my head. So I make this first section here. And just like we did on the sides, I'm gonna pin everything else out of the way so it doesn't get in my way. You wanna make sure your sections are nice so you're not getting your curls sort of like pulling in wonky adjacent hair because it makes it hard to get things neat. So I sprayed it with curling uh, setting lotion and now I am gonna roll it around the curler like I said, towards the back. So this goes up and around, tucking the ends in and back towards my head until it goes to my scalp. And then I'm gonna secure it with a roller pick. <laughs> so we're just gonna go section by section, making sure the sections aren't too big and I'm gonna roll the top of my head towards the back, like I said. And um, you'll notice here I did some tricky editing. And after I got the second roller and I realized that my top section was too big, so I snuck a, um, I snuck a fourth one in over on the side, which you will see right there. <laughs> anyway, so I rolled the top of my head and um, then I just got frustrated. So I turned off my camera and I rolled the rest of my hair. Voila! So now, to keep everything in place, because my rollers tend to come loose at the back of the neck if I'm not careful, because I think they get the most movement back there. So you'll want to find some kind of a scarf. So my favorite is this thing. It's the, um, I think it's called a jack o net, and this is the something veil. But it, um, it's just a little bit stretchy. And it's this perfect triangle shape. So the, I'll put a link in the description, but these are not always easy to come by. Um, I did find them on a couple different places and they do range quite significantly in price because I don't think they're made in the US. So um, anyway, totally worth the investment though, because honestly, like you need to keep your rollers on your head if you want them to curl your hair until they dry. So um, you want to get underneath the back Underneath them back here. Right? And then, so you've got this loose bit here. I'll just float that up front for a minute. And then these will come up the side. Okay. And I tend to um, sort of secure things behind the front roller. Whoops. And then you can flip this little bit back and tie again. Okay, and then you have this, you can just kind of tuck it in. It's not super important. Um, so the bottom line is that like, no, this isn't super attractive. So you've got a couple of options, right? You could cover it with another kind of scarf. You can just wear them proudly. That's kind of what I do. Like if I go places and I have rollers on my head, um, you know, I'm just like, yeah, no, I, I roll my hair. <laughs> and um, if you leave them, this is really nice and meshy too, so the air can get in there. And so like a couple, speaking from my own experience, um, if I use these firm rollers, the mesh wire rollers, and this kind of sheer thing to hold it on, then I can set them and they'll be dry in a couple few hours. If I use more rollers with smaller sections, it takes longer to put them in, but the whole thing dries faster. And so then if you save time by making bigger sections and using fewer rollers, then it can take a little bit longer to dry, especially where if your hair is thicker in the back like mine is. So um, you can save a whole bunch of rollers in the back here. I'm not super pressed for time today. Um, you can do this before you go to bed. I find that if I roll my hair before I go to bed, 
um, then I need to be a little strategic about what I use in my hair. So I have foam rollers that I use. So this is a foam roller. And so you can see it's squishy and it has this little bar that goes down the middle of the roller. So you roll your hair into it and then you bring this piece around and it snaps into this end. And so I have these in a couple different sizes. There's like the purple ones are a little bit smaller. Pink ones and the orange ones are pretty close, and these are the ones I use the most commonly. I think this is an inch, and this is like an... It looks just... I, I can't tell if those are actually different. The run, I think the red white ones are very... The other thing that's interesting is these orange ones are slightly firmer, so these squish more easily. Anyway, the point is that the curls you get from these look about the same, and if you roll the back of your hair with these, then they're soft and you can sleep on them. They're not miserable. But you still want to make sure you put a scarf over them so that because they can tend to come loose at the nape. Um, the other thing is if you have really short hair, these may not stay. Like if you can't roll the hair around it a couple of times before you close the bar, they, they can come loose. Um, and so when my hair was shorter, I used to put uh, one of those duckbill clips kind of through it and stick them, but that hurts to sleep on too. So there's a, you know, so, so then the solution for if you're unable to use these to sleep, because they keep falling out on you, there are other options. So one of the things I use are these pillow rollers. And these are neat actually. So it's like a little, there's a wire in it and there's a square pillow, squoosh, right? And it's inside of this little cottony, this is like nylon housing, right? So you roll your hair around it and then you bring these two ends together and you give them a twist, right? So then you have a nice little curl. So uh, these curls are, it'll put a strong curl in your hair, but they won't be like as crispy and roller shaped as these will when they come out. So that's the other thing, right? So um, the foam roll is also like your curls in the back and get a little squished. It doesn't matter when you brush it out, like at all. So if you have some desire to do, like leave them in very curly roller shapes, then there might be a reason to choose these. I use these because they dry faster when I'm awake. If I'm gonna sleep, um, I tend to use the foam rollers, but the pillow rollers do work, but I found that um, they take a little bit longer to dry than the foam rollers. I'm not sure why. They just did for me. I can't speak for anyone else, but, um, all these are pretty inexpensive. I, there's a new thing that I got, let me reach for it, um, that I haven't yet tried. Uh, they're called spoolies. And so this is a neat little strategy. It looks like a little martini glass. Anyway, so you, you roll your hair into it and then you sort of flip this rubbery and their silicone down over your curl and that's against your head. So these would give you a similar shape, I think, to the pillow rollers. Um, I got a lot of them, and these glow in the dark, uh, just so I could give them a try. And then I guess once you're done, your whole head looks kind of like a pineapple instead of like this. Um, but in theory, these would be more comfortable to sleep on. So I have not tried them yet, because I've been afraid to deviate too much from my routine. So I'm going to definitely have to give those a try in the near future. But it'll definitely, when you're experimenting with hair, I found for me, it is best to not do it under pressure. So like, don't try something new if you have like a photo shoot or a pageant or like somewhere you want your hair to look good um, that you're doing it for. Uh, same for new eyelashes or new lipstick. Like just, you know, when you're gonna experiment, like don't do it under pressure or make sure that you do it with enough time that you could like just tear it all down and like do it another way um, if it doesn't work out. Cause these things, that happens. <laughs> So, um, but anyway, so I'm going to let this dry. Oh, one other thing you want to do is when you get started, make sure you have a shirt that you can take off, not over your head, right? That you can sleep in and you can do everything in because you don't want to be like trying to fight a shirt over your rollers and you don't want to have to take it off over your like fancy hair either. So it's better to, so I have this shirt has snaps and then this, there's a stretchy tank top that I can take down around my waist. And so then, um. If you absolutely have to get dressed into an outfit where you have to put it over your head, probably wait till the rollers are out, ask for some help. I'm not really sure. I tend to avoid that. I usually wear like strapless things because <laughs> so, they're cute. Um, anyway, yeah. So I will be back later and we're going to brush this out. <laughs>